Hey, what is up, you Rainbow Royalty? I am Miss Explains, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be talking about what it means to be transgender. So, a lot of times, people just think transgender means that you are either male to female or you're female to male. And while, yes, that can be transgender, that is only a portion of what it really means to be transgender or what qualifies as transgender. So, when we talk about transgender, we talk about a person that does not identify with the gender they were assigned at birth. This means that transgender is more open to a lot more people because there are two different types when it comes to being transgender. There is binary and there is non-binary. The one we typically hear is the binary one, which is where somebody is born either male or female and then transitions to become either female or male. There is also another category that is the non-binary category. And this is where somebody does not identify with the gender they were assigned at birth. And so their gender identity or lack thereof is expressed differently than a binary identity. So they could be trans and non-binary, they could be trans and agender, and there's just a lot of combinations. So anything that is not a binary gender, basically anything that's not male or female, is going to fit into the non-binary trans category. And keep in mind that trans is a way to describe what somebody is. It is not a gender on its own. So somebody isn't just transgender. They have a gender that goes along with that, whether that's male, female, non-binary, agender, etc. Now it's important to keep in mind that trans is an umbrella term, and so while somebody can be binary or non-binary, especially for the non-binary individuals, because you don't identify with the gender that you were assigned at birth does not mean that you have to label yourself as trans. For example, there are a lot of non-binary people that don't include trans when they describe themselves. Instead, they just call themselves non-binary or agender. They don't say that they're trans and that. But you can totally say that you are trans and non-binary if you would like to. Now, there are also different types of ways that you can describe yourself as trans. That's not just specifically trans. You could be trans-neutral, trans-feminine, trans-masculine. For example, trans-neutral is more of a descriptive term than just transgender because it basically says that somebody is trans, but their gender that they assign themselves to is like a neutral gender. And same for like feminine or for trans-masculine. That's where somebody identifies with a gender that is more feminine or more masculine, and they can identify with it fully or just partially. But that's all I have for you today about transgender, what it means to be transgender. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comment section down below. And if you have any video ideas, please also leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to make a video on things you guys are interested in, and I will see you guys in the next one.